Uh, this week, me and John make oven baked wings and they turn out pretty good. So, uh, enjoy. Fat guy in a little garden. <laughs> there is four of us. Are you hiding? No, I'm right Wendy. What? Okay, you gonna hold my hand then? Yeah. It, well, so I'll start by me showing you, but then you're gonna do the work. Okay, what are you doing, Wendy? Get out of here for a minute. You're Let me do way. my thing. Our kitchen is so tiny. Okay. Do you know what I said they should call cauliflower? White broccoli. Yeah, white broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> Things you're gonna need. It's good if you have a big, deep pan. But Wendy has laid down parchment, so we don't ruin this thing. Um, and she sprayed the pan for me. Uh, this cooking rack will keep the wings above the bottom of the pan so all the fat will drip down. And that's what you want. The tools, things you'll need. Oh, when when we gave us kitchen scissors. Maybe these will be useful. We'll try them. The tongs, these are helpful too for flipping them. The other thing we need, the cutting board. Alright, we got our wings. Now we gotta, we gotta cut our wings. I like this purple one. Okay, so the wing you got, I think this would be like the humorous. So this would be like this. So that's like this part of your arm. The big, the big bone. These two little bones, these are like this part of your, part of your arm. And then down here, this is like the, their hand. So you want to, uh, when he says the scissors, we'll try that next. But I like to just find the best spot to cut through. So you gotta, this takes a little bit of practice to find the, the, the space between the bones. Um, but once you find it, you just slice through and then you got your drumstick and you got your wing. Okay, so this time I'm gonna try these scissors. I've never done this. These might, this might not be the way to go, but let's find out. Okay, that wasn't terrible. I think I just broke the bone there. <laughs> oh man, okay. You know, not the worst. <laughs> not the worst, <laughs> but not my favorite. I prefer figuring it out with the knife. There's seven steps to properly washing your hands. That's like a last practical on it. Okay, what did I do wrong? You didn't bowl all seven steps. <laughs> <laughs> I'll walk through it before. What? I'll, I'll wash my hands when I start. Okay, hold on, yeah. We'll we'll do John doing it. Science time. So you roll up your sleeves. <laughs> okay. Turn the water on. Get a temperature that's not gonna kill you. Wet your hands. Get some soap on them. You gotta scrub palm to palm, back to palm. Uh, fingers interlocking, other one interlocking, back to palm to palm, fingers interlocking. Then you gotta do knuckles, other knuckles, get your thumbs, and then get your fingertips, and rinse off. Just trying not to drip soap water all over the wings. Yeah, that's a good move. This is not going well. <laughs> oh, you found it. You got it. There you go. <laughs> Use the slice motion though. Yeah, because the 
slice is going to be necessary to get through the meat. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you got it. That's it. Okay, a few more to go. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you can see here, our dial, um, all the numbers are off. This looks like it's about 400, which is what we wanted. Are you getting a feel for it? Yeah, I think. Yeah. So they're all going to be a little messed up. That's fine. It takes getting a feel for it. You just gotta, I don't know, you'll get better at feeling the anatomy with the end of your knife and putting it in the knife where it needs to go, where it will most easily slide through between the joints. <laughs> that sounds so weird to say. Ooh, look at that. Whole bunch. You'll leave that in? Yeah, I'll leave that in. Can I Fair. squeeze in here real quick? Want to squeeze in here? You can fit a third person in here, why not? Yeah, I told Harvey, yeah, I'd show our hands full of peanuts for them. Okay, Harvey, I'm getting them. I'm getting a special nuts. Alright, let me go. Just raw meat, get me out of here. Turn, you can just dump the, you can throw that in the sink, dump those in the trash. Anyway, and then repeat your seven steps. Let's see. Okay, these are already rolled. Step one's already done. Then, what were the steps again? Uh -oh, this bar is gonna be too hot. <laughs> <laughs> I did not follow one of my first steps. <laughs> so, I like to put them on the top. Top. Yep, yep. Because you want them as crispy as they can be. So that then when they're coated in sauce, they're primed to absorb the sauce. I'm not a cook, <laughs> but you don't want to overcook them, that's for sure. Okay, so now it's gonna take probably like an hour and a half. Let's record a podcast in the meantime. You should check out my podcast, Memory Lane, with me, Jake Murley, and my Instagram, at Jake underscore Murley. Murley's M-E-R-L-E, -E. okay. Plugs, plugs, plugs. What's what's your Instagram? At John Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> you are not gonna pronounce your own last name wrong. <laughs> oh, she hates it when you say Merle. I don't care. You say it wrong. It's fine. As long as you're a first name, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. As long as you're a fan. As long as you like, comment, subscribe. Here we go. Just a little bit longer. So you're gonna need you're gonna need a bowl to, to toss your wings. Then I recommend Frank's Red Hot, the original. Cut with Guy's Barbecue, uh, sugar free. So it's nice and low carb. Wings are a great low carb meal. I like to mix it evenly, half and half. But if you're sensitive to hot food, just up the barbecue. Or if you want it a little hotter, you know, go the other way. I like my wings saucy. I feel like I'm a little less saucy, do a little less saucy. Oh, there you go. That looks a little burnt. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. So the key is they're, they are basically dry, but you can see a little bit of the fat still on them. I like to just grab a plate and use it on the top and then just wipe it off afterwards. Now the tongs. Some people are just like, oh, you can just pour it on there, but you gotta shake it. This is how the sauce really gets in. You gotta shake it. Ooh. Look at those. Mmm. Smell them. Just kidding. Yeah. You can't. How's that look? They look good. They look great. <laughs> yeah. What's taking so long, bitch? Yeah, bitch. Almost there. At least once. Okay. Okay, yeah, so you are basically like James. They're out of focus. <laughs> mm, look at these blurry bread things. Yeah. Okay. You know what? I don't want to stain this. Smart move. And if it turns out they're not done, you can throw, even if you've sauced them, you can throw them back in the oven. I've done it and re-sauced them, and actually those were some of the best wings I ever ate. Mm. Good.
A little saucy. <laughs> So what do you think? I like them. The sauce is good. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind if they're hotter. Hotter? Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not feeling too much spice. I think I have a good kick. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, no, you don't need to get me. Mm, so done. Mm -hmm. But like I said, you can make them as hot as you want. I like just 100% barbecue. That's my preference. Sugar-free barbecue, or plain, or garlic parm. Wendy, did you take my napkins from me? Can I please have some more? Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Oops, I forgot the camera show. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, now I'm in my house. Well, I hope he's not putting all of this on. <laughs> <laughs> I give them an eight out of ten. Eight. They're, they're solid wing all around, but I don't know. They're not. They're not a perfect wing. <laughs> they are not perfect. Using a deep fryer would be better. But in the oven, oven baked, like you can do this from home. Wings are expensive when you go out, so it's a nice way to keep them cheap. Yeah. yeah. Just, be careful with the thin ones. They'll yeah. overcook. Yeah, those you might actually want to pull out sooner. Um, but like the, the, the medium or the bigger ones were like perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So. All the jumpsticks were good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.